hello how to solve for a and b in this equation a plus b is equal to 10 a b is equal to 120 solution a plus b is equal to 10 let's call this equation 1 a b is equal to 120 let's call this equation 2 Now from equation 1, A plus B is equal to 10, B is equal to 10 minus A. Let's call this equation 3. From equation 2, A B is equal to one twenty. Then A bracket B is ten minus A is equal to one twenty. A multiplied by ten. This is ten A minus A multiplied by A. A square is equal to one twenty. Then this is minus a square plus this 10 a, then minus this 120 is equal to 0. Let's divide all through by minus 1. Then minus a square divided by minus 1. This is a square plus 10a divided by minus 1. This is minus 10a minus 120 divided by minus 1. This is plus 120 is equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation. Let's solve using quadratic general formula. a is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a or a is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of d over 2a from this equation a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 10 c is equal to 120 Then discriminant D is equal to B square minus 4AC. This is minus 10 square minus 4 multiplied by 1, multiplied by 120. Then here is minus 10 square, that is 100 minus 4. Multiply by 1, multiply by 120. That is 480. Then 100 minus 480. This is minus 380. Note that minus 380 can be written as minus 1 multiply by 4 multiplied by 95. That is, if you have 380, then 2 goes in 380, we have 190, then 2 goes in 190, this is 95. So here we have 95 because no perfect square again this is 4 multiplied by 95 then we have 
d is now equal to minus 1 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 95. Let's plug this into the formula. We have a is equal to minus bracket minus 10 plus or minus square root of minus 1 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 95. Then everything divided by 2 multiplied by 1. A is equal to minus times minus 10. This is 10 plus or minus square root of 4 is 2 square root of minus 1 square root of minus 1 is i then square root of 95 everything divided by 2 multiplied by 1 that is 2 a is equal to 10 divided by 2 plus or minus 2i divided by 2 square root of 95 these two cancel this two here one two here five therefore a is equal to five plus or minus i square root of 95 A1 is equal to 5 plus i square root of 95. Then A2 is equal to 5 minus i square root of 95. These are the values of A1 and A2. We've got the value of a1 and a2. Let's solve for b1 and b2. To solve for b, from equation 3, b is equal to 10 minus a. Then b1 is equal to 10 minus a1 b1 is equal to 10 minus a1 is 5 plus i square root of 95 b1 is equal to 10 minus 5 minus i square root of 95 b1 is equal to 10 minus 5 this is 5 minus i square root of 95 this is the value of b1 also b2 is equal to 10 minus a2 b2 is equal to 10 minus a2 is 5 minus i square root of 95. b2 is equal to 10 minus 5 plus i square root of 95. b2 is equal to 10 minus 5. This is 5 plus i square root of 95 this is the value of b2 therefore our final answer are a1 comma b1 is equal to 5 plus i square root of 95 comma 5 minus i square root of 95. 
then a true comma b2 is equal to 5 minus i square root of 95 comma 5 plus i square root of 95 you you can see that the values of a1 here is equal to the values of b2 here and the value of b1 here is equal to the value of a2 here we may check to confirm if this answer is right or wrong let's check we have the given equation a plus b is equal to 10 a b is equal to 120 now let's consider either a1 or a2 now we know that a1 comma b1 is equal to 5 plus i square root of 95 comma 5 minus i square root of 95 we can make use of this now let's see a plus b is equal to 10 then a is 5 plus i square root of 95 plus 5 minus i square root of 95 must be equal to 10. Then this cancel this. We have 5 plus 5 must be equal to 10. 5 plus 5, this is 10, is equal to 10, which is true. Also, let's consider this. We have a, B is equal to 120. Now we have 5 plus I square root of 95 multiplied by 5 minus I square root of 95 must be equal to 120. And here, 5 times 5, this is 25. Then 5 multiplied by minus i square root of 95, this is minus 5i square root of 95. Then i square root of 95 multiplied by 5, this is plus 5i square root of 95 then high square root of 95 multiplied by minus i square root of 95 this is minus i square multiplied by square root of 95 square then must be equal to 120 this cancel this here we have 25 minus i square bracket this cancel this we have 95 must be equal to 120 but i square is equal to minus 1 then here we have 25 minus bracket minus 1 multiplied by 95 must be equal to 120 this is 25 minus times minus 1 that is plus 1 multiplied by 95 that is 95 must be equal to 120 now 25 plus 95 this is 120 is equal to 120 which is true i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel bye